Simeon the Great achieved massive success and formed the first Bulgarian Empire, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Byzantines, defeating them in some of the biggest battles of this time period, but still never managed to take Constantinople. And Simeon is available in the 867 start date as just a three-year-old. So today, we attempt to recreate the first Bulgarian Empire and conquer Constantinople. So here we have Prince Simeon of Bulgaria. Now, in the normal start date, he's obviously still there, but he doesn't have any land. So just to actually make this interesting, I did give him some of his father's land, a little duck cheaper here. Otherwise, we'll just play as this guy and it'd just be weird. Now, this guy does start in the war, which, yeah, looks like he's probably going to lose all this land up here, which is a great start for us. And that will be some land we're going to have to try and get back. But of course, I think the most important thing for us to do is early on is we are going to have to try and work towards getting ourselves on the throne. Now, in terms of inheritance, we are second in line. For some reason, this guy, he is not in the line and I don't know why, to be honest, which is great for us. But that means we have to try and take this brother out at some point, which, you know, it's not, it's not very nice. But you know what? We got to do what we got to do. Now, starting as just a child does massively limit what we can do. Like, we can't do murder schemes. It's just fantastic. So we are going to have to wait until we're like an adult to try and take our brother out. Hopefully, our father is still around by then. But I have no idea because the worst thing that could happen is this guy has loads of children. If he has loads of children, it's going to be quite difficult to take the throne. Now, we do have a claim. So maybe at some point we're going to have to push our claim, but that does split it up a lot more. So hopefully we can get it through inheritance rather than having to fight for it anyway. Now, at just three, we have pensive or stewardship. I mean, you know what? We'll go down a stewardship focus out of those two. We'll try and get, you know, educated well. Uh, there's everybody who could educate me has zero in every stat. What is that about? So we have no good educators either, which is a fantastic start. And we just picked up Rowdy. So somehow we're pensive and Rowdy. Um, no idea what is going on. The game is having a little bit of a mental breakdown right now. But this war, yeah. Ooh, never mind. So the Byzantine Empire is now joining in on uh, Bulgaria's side. So we may not lose that land up here because I believe in real life, there was like a peace between the Byzantines and Boris. But once Boris did die, you know, war started to break out between Simeon and the Byzantines. He did attempt to take Constantinople. I think he did quite well as well. Won some pretty major wars, but in the end, the Byzantines were too much. Bless you. Hopefully we can defend this war because, I mean... That would just be more land we can inherit. Now, our other brother has got given some land. He wants an alliance. Why not? You have a whole eight troops, but that's okay. You're my little brother. We can have an alliance. Okay, it looks like he did manage to defend that war, which is huge for us. So as long as we now can get next in line for inheritance, we can take all of this. But we have got to get this guy out of the way. So let's just hope he doesn't have like 15 children by the time we can, you know, kill him, right? <laughs> oh, new player rare. With the death of Prince Vladimir of Bulgaria, your brother is now your player rare. How the hell did he just die? Wait, we inherited his land as well. What happened? He died in a horse riding accident. Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, wait, that is weird. The, a memory of King Boris. He is still alive, mind. Don't need a book to remember him. Like, he outlasted you. So, uh, you know, that, that is a bit unfortunate. <laughs> but there we go. We don't need to kill anybody. You know, I wasn't exactly looking forward to having to murder our own brother. But just like that, we just took his land. Now, is his land better than ours? Maybe. So where is the capital? This county is really good. Look at that. It's got six holdings that we could build in there. That capital would be amazing if we were doing like a little building tall sort of thing. Oh, the capital of the duchy is held by this guy up here, so we can't even get that. So I'll probably keep this land up here for now, but we are over our domain limit. I'm not going to give it all away. I might just hold it for now. We have picked up some vassals now. Uh, only three counts, though, so we only have to worry about three people. They're all quite a bit weaker than us, so it's not exactly a worry. These barons do not matter. So I think for now, I mean, I'm just going to hold it. Hopefully, when we're an adult, we can get a domain limit to hold all of this, because all we're really doing now is just waiting for our father to die. Okay, so we got two people now offering alliances to us. Now, we have our brother, 
I think I'd like an alliance with him. And you know what? We may as well get an alliance with him as well because soon, hopefully, we'll be king. So having some of our vassals as allies will be really good for keeping our realm stable, which is going to be a super important thing to do because we have quite a lot of vassals we will do. So that's going to be fun to manage. It's one of the reasons I like starting from like a duke or a county because you don't have to deal with all the pre-placed vassals that give you hell. He also just died. What is going on? He was incapable. Died from a seizure. Okay, uh, we are literally just inheriting the kingdom one way or another with no input from me. <laughs> so uh, we have one brother left out of three that we had, which is nice. It's only been 11 years and they're just dropping off like flies. But we have a lot of land now. Okay, so we've not long come of age. We picked up Thrifty Clerk. We got a nice 23 stewardship. Got pretty unlucky on that education trait, but that is okay. Oh, we can try and end our entrenched regency. He's not going to take that. So we're going to be fighting him for a while, which is fun. We're going to have to keep swinging the scales when we can. Try and get rid of him. Making 6.2 gold a month, which is not bad. But hopefully our father, you know, dies soon now we're of age. Oh, no, he wants an alliance, our uncle. Now, when we do become king, if he's still alive, I mean, that would be a massive alliance. Because, yeah, we're going to have to try and keep our vassals in check. So that's very helpful. Okay, nice. So we just traveled to our father's court and we basically had to beg him to become our father's steward. But that is going to now make us a little extra money, which is nice. I've got to say, I love the way the traveling is just so, like, connected with everything now. You know, you go petition your lead. You travel at any events and stuff like that. It does genuinely add so much to the game. Now, we have money and we're still young. I still haven't done this university visit thing. So you know what? Let's go down to Constantinople, which is funny enough because in real life, Simeon, I think his father wanted him to be like some high ranking priest or something like that. And he sent him to Constantinople to actually, you know, get his education. So let's try. Let's just let's just spend as much as we can on it. Yeah, we're going to study hard. We're going to be good. The more levels you get, the more likely you are to upgrade your lifestyle. So we got to try and be careful. Massively more successful, but only a 33% chance. Or we have 100% chance of becoming more successful. That's probably our best bet. Slightly more successful or more, but we do gain a lot of stress. Uh, we'll take some stress for now. Yeah, we may actually just die of stress here, to be honest. Oh, God. Yeah, this is so stressful. We do have the confider trait, though. So that can help a little bit there. But we're going to have to try and get rid of this stress. Well, we got level two so far. So do we get lucky? We gained fortune builder. Look at that. And we did get a lot of stress, though. Two stewardship lifestyle perk unlocks. A lot of gold was invested in buying rare and precious books. Also increased our stewardship by one. You know what? We got excellent to restore a realm. So more prestige, renown, dynasty bonus. That's pretty good. So we might as well equip that as well. But we got quite a few perk points from that. So yeah, vassal tax contribution. Uh, we'll do war profit here and we'll pick up. It is my domain as well. So if we're in a tough spot, we can go ahead and just steal money from our vassals. There we go. And a feast will sort that stress right out. Oh, okay. Never mind. Perfect. Lovely. Gain stress as soon as I say that. Okay, so our father is hosting a hunt. Is this stupid? Do we try and take him out in the hunt? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's see if we can do this. Hopefully, he doesn't get exposed. But let's just try and take him out. This is a pretty good opportunity. So galloping through the leafy bushes, following the calls of the horns and baying of the dogs, King Boris, at last, separates himself from the rest of the party. So today is the day. You know what? Let's go for it. Oh, God. I make my move as quickly as I can, dashing upon King Boris from the side with an attempt to unhorse him. Prince Simeon, what the devil? Boris falls from his steed heavily, but scrambles to his feet. He dashes for the rest of the party as I try and get my horse back under control, looking over his shoulder fearfully, shouting from the top of the lungs, I won't catch him in time. He now has a reason to imprison us. We need to take him out now. Oh, we've already been caught, so we can't even try and take him out now. This is a problem. He may try and imprison me. That was a stupid... That was that was a stupid mistake, but you know what? It was worth a try. <laughs> oh, your benevolent liege, Boris, has pardoned your crimes. Oh, we are friends. He forgived me. What? Fair enough. I respect it. Thank you. Just die soon, please. Liege entered regency, so we are now our father's regent. So maybe there's something we can do about that. But, I mean, he, where, where is air anyway so it doesn't really matter to be honest it's probably not worth doing too much but now he has a regent hopefully i mean he's on his way out right there is hope oh and there we are 
House head changed. End of the road. I am sat on my table, about to break my fast, but all hunger has left me. Something feels amiss, and I know this to be true when I see my wife, Alexia, somebody approaching. I I'm afraid your father, King Boris, drank himself to death. Now, sadly, inheritance wasn't as nice as I thought it was going to be. And I think, yeah, we're allied with him. So if we break this alliance, we lose a level of fame. We get minus 25 general opinion. So I think we are going to have to break this alliance because we do need that land. Never good to break an alliance because people do just start to hate you. But I, I kind of think we have to do that. Let's just go for it. This is kind of terrible, but yeah, we need the land. I'm sorry. I didn't know inheritance was going to go like that. I thought I would be the king and maybe he would inherit some like duchies below me or something. But no, he just went fully independent. And we do have a way better army than him. So hopefully this shouldn't be too much of a problem. We did inherit two stacks of some amazing horsemen as well from our father. Now we've sieged his capital and all his land down here. We need to try and get in for some fights. And hopefully we should be able to end this war pretty soon. And we can get on with what we need to get on with. Okay. Oh. Um, I just oh, he unseaged something up there. <laughs> if I was playing on a slower speed, I could have won that there. He is facing a bunch of other wars as well, so we need to make sure we win this fast before he loses any other land to somebody else. We are in debt as well. We have flowing through our money, so things are not going too great right now, but I'm just fully focused on winning this war. We are starving, but there we go. So that took six years. Uh, a, a bit of a longer war than I was first expecting it to. We have bankrupt our realm. But if we look, we have taken Bulgaria back to its full proper size. <laughs> Finally. Now, we started at three and we are now 36. That's how long this took for our father to, you know, finally die and us to get the throne. You know what? We're only 38, right? It took a while, but I think... I might try and do this whole video in one life. I might see how far we get. And if we get at least Constantinople and maybe some more land off them, we'll end it after one life. Because I, I've, I've always wanted to do that in CK3. Like try and do some big challenges, but limit myself to one life. But the problem is, as you can guess, it's so easy to just die, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I might try that and see how far we can get. We're going to grant this other title away because we're going to go into a health focus, right? But now what we've got to do... Yeah, we want to get a claim on this duchy. Or find a claimant who will come to my court. And it's all just like his children. So that is not going to happen. Our patriarch is decent. So maybe let's see if we can try and get a claim on this duchy. Because that would give us, what, a big chunk of land right there... And of course, the capital, which is the main thing we want is the capital. But while we're waiting for that duchy claim, we could maybe see if we can get sanctioned loopholes. But I think the best bet is go down whole of body and just try and live longer. But make sure we always have a court physician. And in the meantime, we could probably do some wars and expand slightly in this direction right here. And I think, yeah, a lot of these guys, we can holy war them. And their faith is... Not that powerful either. So right now, let's just start Holy War in. And hopefully in the meantime, we get lucky enough and we pick up a nice claim on that duchy. Now, sieges are slow. It could be... Mm, yeah, I think we may get rid of these pikemen when we got a little bit more money and instead build some onagers or something because slow sieges are the worst. Oh, lucky. Never mind. We did capture him first war. So at least that one's out the way quick. And we can just try and get as many done as we can. We may have to do a pilgrimage. But yeah, we are still struggling to recover our money after these wars. So I just made some alliances as well. We got an alliance with Aquitaine, Lotharingia, and Spoleto. So we've got some okay alliances now that can hopefully help us with this. So we're going to go down the whole of body tree. Try and squeeze a few extra years out of this life. So we're also now going to have to try and make sure our stress doesn't get too bad. Now, we do have the option to extort subjects. I'm probably just going to do it. 185 gold, or we can get some tyranny and get 275. We won't take the tyranny. 185 is enough to get us out of debt. That's kind of all we need. Get our army built back up so we can carry on doing wars. Oh, I really wish we had that claim. Can we request a claim? We could, but we need 920 piety. Because yeah, right now he is in loads of trouble. His army is way smaller than it used to be. 
and he is in two walls. So this would be the perfect opportunity to take advantage of his weakness. But we can't exactly afford a pilgrimage. Like, there is no way we could afford one right now. 118, I guess. Could do that pretty soon, maybe. You know what? This is a risk, but this is why I like this. We have one life now. So let's see. Let's just sell trivial tiles. What do we lose? We can get a claim on the county. I don't want that. So I don't know exactly what we lost, but that is fine. We got money now, so we can do a pilgrimage quickly. And we're going to go all the way down here. Exactly. We're going to just, you know, scout out the area, see what's about, and hope we don't get murdered on the way. Hopefully, we can get a thousand piety. No, we did not get enough. Damn, we only got 700. So hoping to get a little bit more than that. Right, you know what? Let's just go for another one then. We'll go all the way to Rome. Try and get as pious as we can. If we can buy this claim, that is going to save us loads of time. And, you know, the way it works right now, we may not even get the claim doing it the way we're doing. There we go. So after that, we have 1,700 piety. So let's buy that claim right now and get home and prepare for this wall. And that does give us a bit of prestige now so we can do some extra holy walls because we did run out. That's why I haven't done it anymore. Oh, I was going to say, if we fight him, we are very quickly going to run out of debt. Now, Aquitaine, we already have an alliance. Yeah, so I'm not too bothered about making a second marriage with you guys. But I was going to say, we're going to go in debt very fast. But he is 2,000 in debt anyway. Oh, we can ask our head of faith for gold. Let's do that. And you know what? That is going to fund this war as well. Um, I don't have Cassus Belli. Uh, yeah, we, we don't, we can't push our claim. I think it's good. Wait, this guy is created. But yeah, we're not able to push our claim on the duchy. So what are we supposed to do? Oh, that is so rough. So that whole pilgrimage thing was absolutely useless. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, mental breakdown over. I thought I could always do it. Right, so I knew about the, if we look, I'll show you right now. They have the Byzantine traditions, which does mean physically disfigured and infertile claimants cannot press their claims against rulers of this culture. And not long ago, I did embrace celibacy. Now, I knew about the physically disfigured thing, but I forgot it was also infertile people. So that was stopping us pushing our claim, which was a stupid mistake and very, very much confused me because I was so lost. I thought I just forgot how to play CK3. We're going to call all our allies. You know what? Let's just let's just call the cavalry. Get everybody involved. We may not need them, but it's always fun having more men. And, um, you know, our sieges are going to be slow. So hopefully some of our allies are bringing some of their own siege equipment. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Way faster. So that saves us having to invest in siege equipment. Our allies are also winning battles down there. He wants a white piece already. Like, we literally just started. And he's like, oh, yeah, I've had enough. Fair play. So if we can try and siege the rest of this war target, then go ahead and siege Constantinople. I mean, hopefully this war won't go on too long and we can try and get some more in against him before we die. And one thing I do want to try and do before we die is create a custom empire. Now, with no chance we get 120 counties or more. That is, we're only at 72. That's not happening. But we do have three kingdom titles, so we do only need a realm size of 80. The problem with that... I don't think we're going to be able to get the prestige in this life, but I don't think having the Empire title is as important as getting most of the land that we need. Especially getting this. Oh, what ticked over for a win then? I don't know. I guess uh, wall score started ticking on its own. So we can enforce that one and quite easily we just took Constantinople. So I'm going to move my realm capital there. Oh, we've already moved it once this life. That kind of sucks, but we are going to hold on to it for ourselves because that makes a lot of money. Nice, a successful hunt. I'm trying to get 2,000 prestige this life as well, see. It would be, you know, I'd be much happier if we could get the Empire title. We only need one more county. I did a little uh, bit of holy war in down here against these guys. Not quite sure what Burgundy is up to. Looks absolutely awful. Oh, Yes. Okay. So the Pope will not give me claims on any of these guys' duchies because they're a lower rank than me. So I'm trying to make my own and we just successfully got a claim on this. Because yeah, looking at the map, I mean, the empire he created, we're not far off of it. You obviously have a bit of extra land here, but I maybe tidy up this bit here. But he did definitely have this here, it looks like. So I think as long as we get this duchy, we're pretty close to having what he actually had. So as soon as this hunt is over, we are going to go for that. And then we should be able to create the empire title because we have more than enough prestige now. We only need 2,000. And I mean, yeah, we absolutely trump the Byzantines. So we are going to have to call our allies. We have made some onagers now, though. So I'm not going to call... Mm, no, I'm not going to call allies because I don't want to waste prestige. That would have been a mistake. 
Oh, we do need allies, actually. He's called some of his own. So we're going to call Lotharingia. That's going to cost 350. How much is it? Yeah, we're just going to call Lotharingia then. And hopefully that will even things up a little bit. Yeah, perfect. They got to us. They're not even coming to fight us. They are involved in another war. Yeah, and that one is much more important. Fair enough. So I don't think they're going to be giving us many problems. Yeah, they, they didn't even come over here once. Uh, the other war, they're starting to win though. So it looks like maybe the empire won't be changing hands. But with that, a realm reforged. I have done what no one else could. I have united the lands of Bulgaria. Bulgaria reigns supreme you know what that is not bad for one life i mean we did start at three so that's what 57 years we had quite a long time but sure i'm missing something that's pretty close to the real borders i think and most importantly we achieved simeon's greatest ambition and we took constantinople for ourselves so you know what i'm gonna end this video on a happy note we didn't even have to die you know we're still alive everything is good but yeah thank you all so much for watching hopefully you did enjoy and i'm gonna end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members like zerharmus but yeah thank you all so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in the next one